Hi everyone, it's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. So what do they want to tell you? What is this message this person needs and wants to give you, but in some way they feel they can't? So just take a moment to think about this person. You can meditate, you can take a deep breath, close your eyes. And then when you open your eyes, which pile are you drawn to the most? We have pile one and we have tiger's eye. Pile two with the halites and pile three with the hermitite. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, I have just set up an Instagram page for Zen Guidance. So I'm doing um, pick a card readings on there and uh, posting other little bits and pieces. So if uh, you're an Instagram lover, please follow me there at Zen Guidance 11. Um, and if you would like a personal reading or an extended version of this reading, then you can email me also at zenguidance11 at gmail.com. And uh, we can discuss that further as I am at the moment, taking bookings for private readings. Um, but I won't be doing that forever. Um, at the moment, it's just uh, I have some time. So if you would like one, please let me know. Okay, so we will get started now with pile number one. Okay, what I need to remember is which way round. Ooh, I don't want to mix them up. I'm very particular about the way that the cards come out, but I'm also open to, not mistakes, but sometimes things need to be uh, mixed up in order to get it right, if that made any logical sense to you whatsoever. So, part number one. What do we have for you? Mm. Okay, pile one. So what do they want to tell you? What is the message that they want to share? So first off, I will start with the King of Swords, who was the first one to come out, but you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but this one particularly relates to an Aquarius here. Um, but they're very stubborn. They're extremely stubborn. They are closed off. They've shut down completely. Um, it's like they feel dead in this connection. I don't know why I laughed, but it's true. They feel either the connection is dead or that there's just zero communication. Um, and there's this unwillingness to take things further or to move forward here. But it, I feel like, like they're tired. They're tired of the way that this has gone for them. Um, and like they need a moment. <laughs> They need a break from this because it's been too intense. We have heartache and loss here. So they've been through some sort of pain or they're going through some anguish at this time thinking about you. Um, like they feel that maybe either they've made a mistake or you have. I feel like there was potentially some deceit or we've got conflict and defeat here. So what I'm seeing, like there was something that happened between the two of you in the past. There was maybe an argument or there was some lies that were revealed here, but there was certainly something that that shook up this relationship. Ship? <laughs> this relationship. We have snake shed old skin. The way I'm seeing this in the context is I see like somebody was maybe acting a bit slithery, a bit slimy, a little underhand. And I feel like emotionally manipulative, the way that I see that it's laid out, I feel like, hmm they kind of know how to slither in and slither out of your life. See if that makes sense to you. <laughs> Reverse the energy um, with your person if that makes more sense. So let's see what else do we have here. Medicine guardian be open to healing information. Okay, so I mean they could be somebody that works in a healing profession. Um, they could be, they could be a doctor um, or they could uh, work in a less conventional medicinal sense they could be a holistic worker or a therapist of some kind 
Um, hmm. Could even be on the ooh, the darker side of things, uh, uh, drug, you know, uh, illegal drugs, um, drug abuse potentially, because I do see that we have the three of cups reversed here, which can be speaks to of maybe even drinking to success or partying to six to excess. Did I say success? Excess. <laughs> um, and I also feeling like maybe they've had a one night stand and maybe they've been kind of playing the field a little bit and I feel like they've been trying to forget you and it's like they've been trying whatever it takes and whether that's with drugs or alcohol I don't know or even with I want to say women with the fountain card and I feel like this is very much a representation of the you know female genitalia if you catch my drift um, but especially being in reverse I feel like it's kind of they're either no, I'm no, I'm not gonna try and change this to fit. What I see is like that they, I don't know, they're either viewing you or they're viewing other other women. Okay, it doesn't matter whether they're a man or a woman, but they're viewing like the feminine uh, in quite a flighty way. In a, like they're not ready to commit, is what I'm seeing here. They're it's like they're completely closed off, completely closed off to this. But I do see that they're trying. They're trying to make some changes. They're looking to move forwards. They're looking to go on a journey somewhere. Um, so maybe that's a physical journey or you know, they could be relocating with their work. Um, there's something where they want to travel and it could be, like I said, an outside travel or it could be an inner journey that they're looking to um, embark on at this time. Um, and I feel like they're starting to see things from a new perspective. We also have the Envy card here. Envy in reverse. So again, I'm getting this as a lot of past energy that maybe that they were envious of you in some way, um, maybe of the qualities that you have within you that made them feel insecure in a way. It made them question themselves or they were so envious of other people's lives or what somebody else had that they weren't able to respect and appreciate you, you know, for who you are and the relationship and the connection that you had. It's like, the grass is always greener with them and that's how I'm seeing it. It's like, yeah, they're definitely a commitment phobe. <laughs> um, but they still have this very strong sense and this longing for you. Um, and I do feel like they're really stuck in the past. They're completely stuck in the past about you. Um, they keep thinking about this fight that maybe you had. So I'm like, I feel like there's some words that are going around in their head. Um, like there's something that you said to them that really has sort of stuck um, and it's almost like stuck in my brain right now. Um, what, what was it? Like you're useless, you're worthless, you're a piece of shit, you're unworthy. I don't know, something along those lines um, that, and it all, you know, or something that made them feel worthless. Like, I feel like you know, you, you know, you knew how to really hit them hard with what, what you say and what you said. And it, it has hurt them quite intensely here. Um, and they're feeling quite impatient now um, because they feel insecure. They feel that this is now on shaky ground. Um, so as a message as to what they want to say to you, I feel like... They may even want an apology from you or they want some sort of closure. And I feel like they want you to want them back. You know, like uh, we've also got uh, lovers around and be strong. And I feel like that's what they want. They want you to show them some sort of reciprocal love. Like, or they want you to chase them again. That's what I'm getting. Magic guardian as well and lock the magic within. Um, so they do feel this special, this bond with you that runs runs deep and it and I feel like this was this has been going on for quite some time. This is like an old connection, not as in old um you know, as in I mean it could be, it could be a past life or you know, somebody that is from the past, but I'm getting it's more the recent past, but you've kind of been in and out of each other's lives for uh, quite a while. I'd say years, you know, um is the energy that I'm getting here and it's that's why it's come to another turnaround. Um, and I feel like the power keeps shifting between the two of you. And I'm feeling like more so that maybe you have the power at this time. You're the one that feels like you've got, you hold the key. Um, 
almost to their happiness because they're not happy right now and they're quite depressed. They are thinking about you, they are thinking about the past, their past actions, your past actions. And I do see that they are, like I said, I feel like they're on a journey and they are looking to make some changes here. We've got the Page of Wands, this could be a fire sign as well. Um, that we're dealing with, but we do have all the other signs here, to be fair. But Page of Wands, oh sorry, did I say King of Wands? Yeah, Page of Wands. So I feel like, sorry, I read this earlier as the King for some reason, but maybe that resonates as well. So maybe there's a level of feeling confident, but I do see with the Page that they are making some sort of plan. They are planning a journey. Um, and this could be a plan to come back towards you, to reveal how they truly feel, to reveal that they have passion and love towards you, or that they want a brand new start and they want to take a journey with you, or that they are looking to, you know, expand within their work and their passions, or expand internally and spiritually. They definitely are looking towards the future. It's like I see two parallels here. So there's a part of them is a small part of them. I feel like is more making a plan to move on, but I'd say the majority of their energy is, is sucked up into the past between you two. And I feel like there's more as well, not just between the two of you. I feel like there's other past shit and traumas that are sort of seeping in here, um, that are festering, that are causing insecurities for them, and it's bringing up things um, that are quite unpleasant. I think that like these feelings, maybe it's coming from childhood. This feelings, feelings of rejection, feelings of inadequacy um, and maybe they didn't live up to their mother or their father's expectations and maybe even one of their parents used to say something along the lines of what you said to them about being worthless or useless or whatever that was that cut them deep like I feel like maybe that's something that they heard before and that's why it cut them so deep and it's something that they've always strived to try and be uh, and not be um, so yeah I feel like that that's really hit them hard and that's why they're still really stuck here um, but there is this ray of hope for them that, that they are trying to make a shift and, and move forward. Um, so, I mean, I feel like mostly they really want to clear up this with you. Like whether I'm not seeing strong, like a reconciliation necessarily. I don't see that they necessarily want to get back together with you, but I feel like they want to clear the air. Now, that doesn't mean that they won't want to get back together with you after that. But I feel like at the moment they can't really even go there because they're too wrapped up in their own feelings um, about themselves. But, you know, so it's like they need to deal with this stuff and obviously these are the plans that they have before they can really move forwards with you. So that's what I'm getting for the for uh, how they feel about you, power number one. Um, so let me know if this resonates with you, I'd love to know how it does, um, or it did, or it do. <laughs> um, so yeah, just let me know in the comments. Oh, excuse me. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to uh, continue to see my videos. Eloquent as always. I can read and I can talk for the life of me, but as soon as I try and plug myself, I um, <laughs> get tongue-tied. Madness. Okay. Maybe there's a sign that I shouldn't try. <laughs> okay, about two, we have the how light. What do we have for you? How do they feel? Okay, part two. So what I'm getting here is, they're still very much stuck on you. I've got the hangman here, so they're stuck. But they're also trying to emotionally walk away from this. I feel like maybe they're stuck mentally, but emotionally it's like they're trying to distance themselves and they're they're, wa they're wanting to let go of any fears that have been holding them back. But I do feel like they've got a strong attraction to you. I feel like they think about you in a physical way. But they are very shy and they hold back. Like they're not, they're not open with you. They're not communicating that to you whatsoever. Um, 
I mean, we could be dealing with an earth sign. I'm getting this very earthy energy here. We've got the earth guardian, then we have lady. I'm getting a lot of greens and earthy tones. It could be dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, or you could be. Um, but yeah, with so much green here, so much yellow, I'm feeling there's a, there's a lot of emotion. Um, there was a lot of love between you two. And I feel like they're at a loss. They're feeling some crazy attachment to you. We have the number five here as well, which is change. So something has really shifted and changed between the two of you. Your foundations were rocked. It no longer feels stable and secure like it once did. Like, I feel like in the past it was a really happy situation. It was a happy family situation. But now there's, there's a split. It's like you almost are like mirroring each other or your twin flames or your, you have this very, very emotional, strong bond between the two of you. And you're both really feeling this loss. You're feeling it deep inside. Um, but then we have the fulfillment of wishes. So I feel like you really are their dream come true. Like they they always wished for somebody like you to come into their life. And I feel like they just feel disappointed that it didn't turn out the way that they had wanted or they had expected. But I'm getting so much commitment from them here. We've got the wisdom card, which is the Hierophant, um, which is, or is it the Hierophant or is it Emperor? No, yeah, of course, it's the Hierophant, my bad. But yeah, and another five here as well. So uh, again, a change. So I feel like they're ready to take like a shift to this because they don't want to be apart from you. They want to be with you and they want a happy family situation. They want, they want stability, which is what they feel like they've been lacking here. Clear the space around you, feel the energy from the light. So it's almost like, I feel like, yeah, they're, trying to clear some space, maybe they're even relocating, they're moving house, or they're, it's like they're making plans to come back to you, or for you to come back to them, to move in together, maybe they're even going through like a decluttering, or maybe you are, I feel like there's space that is being cleared, either physically or mentally, like you're both kind of getting on this path of maybe you're letting go of past baggage, or some past stuff that happened between the two of you, it's like you're, you're trying to let this go now, um, then we have on a mission natural giver so in the reverse energy it's like somebody here is not willing to be open and giving right now and i'm feeling like it's them i feel like they have all of these emotions for you but they're not just they're just not ready or feeling like they're ready to communicate because i think they're working on growing uh, we've got lady enjoy growth and reap rewards so i feel like they're taking their time with this they're, they're steady. I don't see any hasty decisions here. I don't see any forceful action. I see like tentative movements. Um, like they're just sort of treading lightly and just almost like testing the waters just to see. Like maybe they're even testing you a little bit. Maybe they're playing games. You know, maybe they even like drop call you off an anonymous number just to see if it kind of, I don't know, gets a rise out of you in some way. I just feel like they're trying to. It's like they're trying to figure out whether you still feel the same about them as they do about you because they're majorly attached to you. Like they're kind of bordering on obsessed with you and maybe they have you up on a pedestal of some sort here, which maybe you've struggled to feel like you could live up to in their mind and their expectations. But in some ways I feel like you ground them down and that's, and that's how they see you. Like I feel like maybe they could be quite um, impulsive and a little bit obsessive and intense, but you kind of bring them back down to earth is what I'm getting. It's like they feel at home with you. They feel at ease and like they can conquer the world with you. Mm. Just see for a minute what else I can see. Just getting such a strong pull towards this card. I don't know if you can see this, the light's blinding me here. Um, let's see, I don't know. <laughs> um, I hope you can see this, but if not, Lady Enjoy Growth and Reap Rewards. So she's in green, there's red apples around. Um, she's sat, well, sat within an apple tree, she's holding on to, she's holding on to an apple. I said, oh, this card, it's another new card that I haven't, hasn't come out before, I haven't studied it properly before, which you now I'm quite enjoying here. Um, 
but yeah, with the I feeling like so, with the fruits of your labor, they're yeah, I feel like they're taking their time. They're planting the seeds, ready to come back towards you. So maybe that it's just like little gestures as well. Maybe they're not directly reaching out to you and being honest with their feelings. Maybe they're still in communications. Maybe they're sending you flowers anonymously, or leaving you little gifts. Or I feel like they're stalking you on social media, um, or that they're, they're keeping an eye on you in a slightly obsessive way, but I don't think it's majorly unhealthy. I do feel like they have some level of attachment to you, which they are trying to fight and they're trying to move past this. And I think that's a bit of a constant battle between them. But like I said, I feel like they've overcome a lot of hurdles lately. They've let go a lot of fear. And I think that's where they're starting to, it's like they want to just try now and bring you two back together, bring this peace and harmony. Um, and stability like they want this they used to feel like they had this safety and security with you so whatever happened between the two of you um not the reason that you're apart it's like they feel like they want to work on that they do they want to work on that but you both got to be open and giving and you both have to be able to let go clear space clear physical space for each other clear mental space in your minds you know, clear the space in your lives and prioritize each other. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number two. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, feel free to uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it resonates with you. Um, also, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also go to my Instagram if you'd like to stay updated on Instagram and be bored. Uh, Zen Guided 11 on Instagram. Okay, thank you so much. Right, let's look at number three now pile number three here we go how do they feel about you hmm. two of cups first oh okay oh. another one i haven't seen uh, not much haven't seen very often okay So first we had the two of cups and then we had the two of wands, both reversed. So we're going to be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign here. We could also be dealing with an Aries, but we'll go through the signs as we go a lot. So there's definitely a split between the two of you, but you two, you're, you've been mirroring each other. You have an intense and a strong bond. You are connected at a soul level, like your energies just mirror each other. But you're certainly going through a split right now. You're you're not together at this time. Um, mm, sorry, my uh, head just got foggy then for a second. Um, why has my head gone foggy? I've just gone completely blank. So, oh, sorry, number three. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm saying is they want a turnaround with you and they're feeling like they've lost the control They've lost all control of this connection. Maybe even, you know, they they could have been on the more abusive side of things, mentally, I hope not, um, or physically. Um, but it's almost like they feel like they like to be the dominant one and they feel like they've lost control of the situation or they've lost control of you. But with the Knight of Cups here, it's like, I feel like they want to come back to you and they want to start again. They want to start afresh. Wise one, grow within. So I feel like they could be older than you. Or you could be older than them, but there's certainly somebody here that is far more mature than the other one. Wise want to grow within your current situation here. Okay, so taking that literally or not. Um, eagle, see from a higher perspective. Okay, storm warning. So I feel like there was something that was avoided here. There was some sort of chaotic um, uh, event, or there was something that could have happened that would have shaken you to your core or their core, and that is not... It's like it's been missed here. Um, and I feel like they're going through a time where they're just taking some time out. We've got rest and rejuvenation here. So it's like they're going through a meditative state. Um, and I feel like they're trying to let go of something that happened in the past. There's deception and envy here. So somebody in this connection was dishonest. So whether that was them or whether this was you. 
Um, but I'm feeling like this is very much a past energy. This is something that happened between you two. Um, and I feel like they're trying to let it go. It's like they're working really hard because it was something that was on their mind for some time and they're working on trying to build some stable foundation here. You know, they want some safety and security with you. Okay, well, we have the fifth chakra um, reverse, which shows a blockage within the uh, throat chakra, which, you know, is fairly obvious here because they're not communicating with you. So, you know, they're not revealing their truth. So, I mean, they could even, they could be talking too much, but, but keeping it very shallow. You know, so if you are in communication, they're not being, they're not telling you their true feelings. They're keeping it all, you know, very sort of surface level. Um, or if they're not speak, if you're not in communications whatsoever, they're just kind of reverted back. Like I said, they're taking some time out and they don't want to rush things. They don't want to just say anything or have like verbal diarrhea. They want to feel like they have control when they speak to you because maybe in the past they, they feel like they lost it. And I'm just getting the sense that, yeah, that maybe that they have been a bit of an over talker at some point and they, they then feel kind of embarrassed that they revealed too much. Um, and then I feel like, I don't know, so many, uh, not necessarily alcoholics that I seem to be dealing with <laughs> coming across through these readings. So, you know, I don't mean that literally, it could be for some, but there's a level of taking things to excess or partying hard or socializing or on the flip reverse, it could be completely isolating. So, you know, whichever one resonates with you. Um, but either way, it's either, like I said, if they're, they're so, they're either so reclusive that they're not speaking to anybody, they shut every single person out and yeah, they're not entertaining anyone at this time or in the reverse that they just cannot be alone and they're constantly, they've got an influx of people and friends and I feel like one way or the other, they're trying to forget this. Um, they're trying to forget whatever's been going on or the fact that they're having to hide things or hide their true feelings from you um, because they have come to a decision they've come to a decision about you um, and I feel like they do want to give this another go but they don't think it will turn out in their favor they feel like they do want another shot at this they you know they want to come back or they want you to come back to them they do want that and I feel like that's what they want to tell you they want a fresh start but they want to feel like they're in control. Um, and they are the ones that want to offer you something, but they want to make sure that the past is left in the past because they are taking the time to work on that and to try and let it go. So they don't want this to just keep being brought up over and over again. Like I said, they want growth in this situation. They want things to be different. They want this relationship to feel like it's evolved, you know, that you've evolved past these past mistakes, these past traumas, these, these deceptions and betrayals or whatever happened between the two of you, they feel like it's made them wiser, it's made them stronger, they understand themselves more, they understand you more and they understand this connection more. Um, and they wanna go into this with a new perspective, they don't wanna be stuck in the past. So I feel like if you want them to come in and communicate with you, that maybe you need to be sort of open and honest with them or kind of, I don't know, because may maybe they could have been trying to show you that they've changed or that they've grown or that they're working through things and maybe you've not acknowledged it, um, which is your prerogative, do whatever you like. But I feel like if you want them to to sort of ease up and open up, that maybe you might need to, you know, give them a little reassurance or compliment them or just acknowledge the fact that they're doing something good. And then that's positive reinforcement. They're going to want to keep doing it if they're trying to impress you, you know, but if you kind of keep turning a blind eye and pretending like you don't see it or you're not interested, um, eventually it's like they feel like a little puppy dog and like they're just going to go off and cry and, and kind of give up. And if that's what you want, then continue, continue on. But, uh, you know, maybe they deserve it. Maybe they were, they, maybe they were a dirty dog to you um, and this is their punishment. So, you know, I'll leave that up to you. Whatever you want to do, this is your reading. This is your own free will. So do whatever the hell you like. Um, again, clarity, believe is in reverse here. So, yeah, I'm feeling like they want, they want to gain some clarity in this situation because they don't feel, they feel uncertain and they feel confused. Um, see clearly feel your heart again it is in reverse so i feel like they're just not they're not understanding what's going on here and that's why they feel like they're out of control i feel like at one point they knew your heart that because you, you were open and you were honest and you communicated in an open and honest way with them 
Whereas now I feel like you've been holding back, which is then confusing them. Uh, and in turn, it's making them kind of feel insecure and on their, like they're on shaky grounds. So, you know, like I said, the overwhelming message that I'm getting is that they want to talk to you. They want to open up um, and be honest with you. And they want to be able to let go of the past and they want to grow and evolve in this connection. Um, and they just want to feel like they know where they're at with you. They just want to know where they stand. Um, so, like I said, it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. Your choice. Um, so, I hope uh, I hope that you enjoyed it or it resonated with you. Plan number three, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like a personal reading or an extended version of this reading, you can email me at sendguidance11 at gmail.com. Email is also in the description box below. Okay. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at sendguidance11. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or evening as it is here in the UK. Um, so I'm going to take my ass off to bed. <laughs> I think it's time. And uh, you all sleep well. Um, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.